Hey everyone, what's up? Mariah here with a vlog. This is uh, <clears throat> this is this is what it all comes down to. This is uh, this is it. This is the final countdown here. Um, it is Wednesday. I don't know what date it is. I'll put it on the screen. I don't know what number it is. The seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth. I have no idea. Everything's been such a blur. Eighty hours ago, I spilled water on my machine. So I've been waiting for it to dry. It's probably dried within the first 24, first 36, first 48. I have no idea. No idea. I have no idea if it's dry right now. But it's been 80 hours. How long do I wait? Right? So I finally, I've done tests on everything. We've bled the loop. We've gone through so many iterations of bullshit. Um, all the fans work, everything like that works. All the hardware outside of the case has worked prior to having water spilled on it. I have not turned the machine on. This is the first time it's been fully wired up, ready to power on. We're gonna do it right here. Let's hope I didn't make any mistakes. Let's hope that it's dry. Let's hope for a lot of things, right? There's a second camera that is focused right on my display so that I don't have to pick this camera up and uh, pull it over. There's so much shit everywhere. It's unbelievable. So I'm going to flip this switch. And if we get lights on the motherboard, that's a good sign to begin with. Where's the switch? We have lights on the motherboard. <laughs> Oh, shit. Do I have my power? This is the first time. This is the first time. I have no idea what's going to go wrong. What, what could possibly go wrong? What hasn't gone wrong so far? I'm afraid to hit the power switch because at this point, we're good. At this point, it's fine, right? Everything's okay. Everything's okay. So there's no short on the motherboard. Otherwise, it would probably wouldn't be giving me lights. I guess we're going to do this. <clears throat> I'm going to push the, there's a power button on the motherboard itself. It's powering on. I'm standing a little further back and it shut itself off. It does this though. It cycles power because the lights are still on. It's powering on. We only have one GPU hooked up as well. I didn't, I didn't plug in all the GPUs in case I was going to fry something. I didn't want it to feed back into the power supply and then feed out into every other component. Do we have a picture though? Oh, you know what would really help is if I turned on that monitor. Where's the power button? We have, uh, uh, I don't know. We're sitting at a, uh, a code. Oh no, we're getting past the code. Do we see something on the screen? This is intense. What's happening? DD. What's DD? I don't have my little booklet available. I don't know what to <clears throat> I don't know what to look for. I don't know what DD is. So here we stand. It all has power applied to it. LEDs are on, pumps are on, fans are on. Other things are turned on, but we're sitting at DD. I don't know what DD is. The thing is I can reset the, uh, I can reset the BIOS. I guess I'll do that since we're stuck at DD. And let me press the reset button. We're going to press the reset button. Sorry, now I can bring you down because uh, if I can figure out how to operate this thing. So I don't know what we're looking at here. We're going through the codes <clears throat> it sits at b4 for a long time but b4 i'm pretty sure is memory training we have a picture there's a picture it's booting it's booting up oh it did have a problem with the bios yes so let's uh Let's just load the default values and continue. I don't care. 
I have some new memory. Sorry, now I'm down here. I have some new memory. We'll talk about all the upgrades and the changes in another video. Is this going to, oh, I don't even have a keyboard hooked up to it. What am I doing here? Uh, okay, we'll figure this out. I'll be right back. So we're in Windows. We've booted up. This is incredible. Now at this point, the only problem left I think I might have is something I'm a little worried about, but we'll find out, we'll find out soon enough. Uh, I have to shut the system down and plug all the GPUs in and it's doing things because it's got a bunch of new hardware hooked up to it. That's nice. I, I've, I've lost the screen. <laughs> I don't know. I need to reinstall the driver, I'm sure. Um, we need to hook the drives up to get my games hooked up to see if the GPUs actually stay cool under load. The problem I ran into in the past was... Um, I'm just going to explain this and then we'll end the vlog. But when I was messing around with the, the Titans before and I was putting backplates on them, I was removing the EVGA uh, thermal pads and I was putting in on my own high quality thermal pads. And they're a little bit stiffer, like stock thermal pads or lower quality thermal pads are a little squishier. Um, so you can kind of, you know, they compress a lot easier when you, when you push them onto the components. The Fuji Poly stuff, the extreme stuff, is pretty stiff. It's not, uh, it's more like clay as opposed to just, um, mm, I don't have a good, I don't know. I don't know if you've ever touched the thermal pad or not. Anyway, they're pretty stiff and they're not that easy to compress, although they do compress. You can compress them. Got my picture back on the screen. Um, but what I did when I was playing with everything when I first got it <laughs> last year, last year, <clears throat> I put the Fuji Poly stuff on there and then I turned the system on to test it to see if that was going to like be better. And I was getting artifacting and whatnot when I was in games. And I was like, is it the, is it the wrong, you know, is the Fuji Poly stuff too stiff? Is it not compressing correctly? Is it, is it pushing too much, uh, is it putting too much pressure on the components as the backplate gets screwed down? So I was a little worried about that. But when I took it all apart, I realized that I didn't screw down all of the screws on the actual cooling shroud itself. So the artifacting could have easily been caused by that, but I never bothered to test that backplate again with the Fuji Poly stuff on there. So what I had to do when I put all of this together, the water block that comes for the GPUs comes with its own thermal pads, right? It says they're one millimeter thick. They are incredibly thin though. They are very thin. They are less than one millimeter as far as I'm concerned and as far as my trusty ruler here is concerned, it's less than one millimeter. Now my Fuji poly pads definitely clock in at exactly one millimeter according to this. Yes, I should probably be using a, a micrometer for this thing, uh, for these measurements, but whatever. So the problem lies is that when I put on the backplate for these GPU blocks, they don't come, and I don't know why, but you buy the backplate and they give you a thermal pad for the backside of the MOSFETs or the VRMs or whatever on the GPU, but they don't give you the thermal pads for the, uh, the VRAM chips on the backside of the PCB because the Titan X has VRAM on both the front side, the top GPU side, and then the back side. So they both need to be cooled or they both need to be thermal padded and they don't give you those pads, so you have to buy your own. So I bought one millimeter Fuji, pad, uh, Fuji Poly again, and I put those on there. And I'm hoping that the Fuji Poly, long story short, too late at this point, that the Fuji Poly pads aren't going to be causing me issues and aren't putting too much stress on the components. I wasn't able to test this stuff. I couldn't just put the block together and test it on its own. All of this, this is some intricate bullshit right here. There's going to be a video about this. There will be a video about this. This is unreal, what I had to go through. Every different change I made to the top section here. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Learned so much in the process. But man, I don't know. I probably could have lived the rest of my life without all of this knowledge. But uh, that is what it is. It's, uh, it's kind of a long video here. But uh, I'm excited that this is turning on. We still have power. Everything's still running. CPU is sitting at what looks to be 30, about 30 degrees Celsius, which is good, which is good. Time to plug the rest of the stuff in and see if it works. So, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will 
hopefully see you as long as this thing doesn't melt down. <clears throat> hopefully see you in the next video.